Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, Clive Myrie. In the spotlight tonight are Thomas Roebuck, a customer services manager. His specialist subject is the singer and actor Meatloaf. Helen Lippel, a taxonomy consultant who will be answering questions on the British woodcarver Grinling Gibbons. Sean Bladen, a health data scientist. Her subject is England women's cricket from 2000 to the present. And John Philipson Brown, an assessment manager whose subject is the life and poetry of Gerard Manley Hopkins. <laughs> You, the audience, have taken your seats and the contest is about to begin. It is, in a way, a game of two halves to coin a well-worn phrase, with two minutes on a specialist subject and two and a half minutes on general knowledge. A contender not doing so well in one could turn things around in the other, but a constant pressure weighing heavy is the intense glare of the spotlight, the ticking clock and the chilly embrace of the black chair. Let the games begin. So, can I ask our first contender to join us, please? Your name? Thomas Roebuck. Your occupation? Customer services manager. And your specialist subject? Meatloaf. The late rock singer and actor born Marvin Lee a day in two minutes, starting now. Meatloaf rose to international fame following the release of his 1977 album, Bat Out of Hell, made in collaboration with which musician who wrote the songs for the album? Jim Steinman. Yes, in 1978, Meatloaf had his first UK top 40 single with what song? Um. You took the words out of my mouth? Yes, in the original 1975 Broadway stage production of The Rocky Horror Show, Meatloaf played two characters, Eddie, and which other, who'd later be played by Jonathan Adams in the film version? Dr. Scott. Yes, in 1969, Meatloaf went to the Aquarius Theatre in Los Angeles to get a job as a car park attendant, and while there, successfully auditioned for a role in which stage musical? Hair. Yeah. Yes, which German musician produced Meatloaf's 1986 album, Blind Before I Stop, and also sang backing vocals for two songs on the album? Todd Rundgren? No, Frank Farian. What's the title of the episode in the anthology television series Masters of Horror, in which Meatloaf plays a sleazy fur trader called Jake Feltman, who acquires goods that prove to be cursed? Hooky. No, Pelts. What's the name of the British singer who provided the female vocals on Meatloaf's UK number one single, I Do Anything for Love, But I Won't Do That, where she was credited as Mrs. Loud? Lorraine Crosby. Yes, in the 1992 film Wayne's World, what's the name of Meatloaf's character, a bouncer at the Gasworks Heavy Metal Club? Tiny. Yes, Meatloaf met his future first wife, Leslie Edmonds, in the late 1970s at which recording studio in Woodstock in New York State, where she was working at the time? Bearsville. Yes, on Meatloaf's 2006 album, Bat Out of Hell 3, The Monster is Loose, he performs a duet on the song, It's All Coming Back to Me Now, with which Norwegian singer? Marion Raven. Yes, during the creation of Bat Out of Hell 2, which management company headed by Alan Kovac did Meatloaf sign with at the insistence of Jim Steinman? Virgin? No, Left Bank. Meatloaf's song, Going All the Way, is just the start from his final studio album. I've started so finished from his final studio album, Braver Than We Are, was written by Jim Steinman in conjunction with which British lyricist? Tim Rice? No, it was Don Black. Yeah. And Thomas, at the end of that round, you had no passes. You've got eight points. Lovely, thank you. And our next contender, please. Your name? Helen Lepel. Your occupation? Taxonomy consultant. And your specialist subject? Grinling Gibbons. Yes, the celebrated woodcarver and sculptor often described as the Michelangelo of woodcarving. In two minutes, let's go. Grinling Gibbons was born in 1648 to English parents James Gibbons and Elizabeth Callings in which Dutch city? Rotterdam. Yes, in the 1660s, Gibbons moved to York and became a journeyman apprentice to which architect and master craftsman before leaving to work in London? John Etty. Yes, in the earliest surviving work by Gibbons, the King David Boxwood panel. King David, surrounded by dancing cherubs, plays the harp and is accompanied by which saint on the organ? Saint Cecilia. Yes, according to the well-connected diarist John Evelyn, he discovered Gibbons by chance when he saw him through the window of his workshop carving a large 
large panel of a crucifixion based on a painting by which Venetian artist? Tintoretto. Yes, the large altarpiece or Riados carving for St. James's Church in Piccadilly, which is topped by a stylized depiction of a pelican feeding her young on her own blood, was Gibbons's first work alongside which architect? Yes, the distinctive naturally pale wood which Gibbons introduced to English carving from Europe was obtained from which deciduous tree of the genus Tilia? Uh, Limewood. Yes, what was the name of the inn on Ludgate Hill in London to which Gibbons moved around 1672 with his wife Elizabeth and where he established and maintained a workshop? The Belle Sauvage. Yes, which architect was appointed comptroller of works at Windsor Castle to oversee its remodelling in the 1670s and secured Gibbons his first work for the crown? Humay. Yes, the artist Sir Peter Lely assisted Gibbons in his move up the social ladder by initiating him into what fashionable London club? St Luke's Club. Yes, Thomas Betterton, the actor-manager of the Duke's Company of Players, commissioned Gibbons to carve for him the ornaments and decorations for which new theatre, named after the thoroughfare where it opened in 1671? Dorset Garden Theatre. Yes, a standing stone statue by Gibbons in the South Choir Isle of York Minster is a monument to which Archbishop, who died in 1691, and is notable for the statue appearing to have two right feet. Monthly. Yes, Gibbons died in testate at his home in Bow Street in 1721 and was buried in an unmarked grave in which churchyard in Covent Garden? St Paul's. It is St Paul's. And Helen, you had no passes and at the end of that round, you've got 12 points. And our next contender, please. Your name? Sean Bladen. Your occupation? Health data scientist. And your specialist subject? England women's cricket from 2000 to the present. An era when the England team won two World Cups and the women's game turned professional. In two minutes, let's go. When England defeated India at Lords to win the 2017 World Cup final, which player took six wickets for 46 runs and was named the player of the match? Anya Shrubsol. Yes, at the Women's T20 World Cup in 2023, England were knocked out at which stage of the competition? Uh, the semi-finals. Yeah, Charlotte Edwards, who captain England for 10 years, made her last international appearance in the semi-final of the Women's World T20 in 2016 in a defeat by which country? India. No, Australia in 2005, which slow left-arm bowler became the youngest player to represent England at test level after she was selected against Australia aged just 15. Holly Colvin. Yes, which player was a late replacement in the England team that won the 2009 World Cup final against New Zealand and returned match-winning bowling figures of four for 34? Nicky Shaw. Yes, England were among the favourites for the Cricket World Cup in 2000 but were surprisingly beaten in their second match by which country? West Indies. No, South Africa, which Cheshire and Kent wicketkeeper played her only test match for England against Australia in 2011, but also appeared in five One Day Internationals and five T20 Internationals? Sarah Taylor. No, Lauren Griffiths. The final of the 2022 World Cup in which England were comfortably defeated by Australia was held at which cricket ground in Christchurch, New Zealand? Pass. Which bowler was appointed as the temporary captain of the England team when an injury ruled Heather Knight out of the third one-day international on the 2016 tour of Sri Lanka? Nat Siverbrunt. No, Dani Hazel. England's tour of the West Indies in 2016 consisted of five one-day internationals, all played in which island country where preparations were interrupted by the arrival of Hurricane Matthew? Antigua. No, Jamaica. In 2018, three of England's World Cup winning cricketers were named among Wisden's five cricketers of the year. The captain, Heather Knight, the bowler, Anya Shrubsole, and which all-rounder? Nat Brunt. It is Nat Brunt. Sean, just a one pass. And the final of the 2022 World Cup, in which England were comfortably defeated in Australia, was held at Hagley Oval in New Zealand. And at the end of that round, Sean, You've got five points. And our final contender, please. Your name? John Phillipson Brown. Your occupation? Assessment manager. And your specialist subject? The life and poetry of Gerard Manley Hopkins. Yes, the Victorian poet and priest known for his innovative style and his vivid evocations of the beauty 
of nature. In two minutes, let's go. After his family moved to Hampstead in 1852, Hopkins became a boarder at Watt School, where he won the school's poetry prize with a poem entitled The Escorial. Highgate School. Yes, what was the name of the Regius Professor of Greek who was Hopkins' first tutor at Balliol College, Oxford? Benjamin Jarrett. Yes, Hopkins renounced his Church of England upbringing and surreptitiously attended which Roman Catholic chapel in the St Clement's area of Oxford while studying for his degree? Um, St Aloysius. No, St Ignatius. While in Oxford in 1879, Hopkins lamented to a friend that, I have been up to Godstow this afternoon, the aspens that line the river are every one felled, and then wrote which poem on the subject? Binzy Poplars. Yes, what was the surname of the Liverpool farrier whose death in 1880 inspired Hopkins to write the poem Felix Randall, which celebrated his life? Felix Spencer. Yes, we are leaf whelmed somewhere with the hood of some branchy, bunchy, bushy, bowered wood are lines from which poem? that Hopkins wrote for his brother, Everard's wedding, in 1888. Epithalamion. Yes, The Leaden Echo and The Golden Echo is the title of a chorus from Hopkins' unfinished drama about the death and resurrection of which Welsh martyr? St Winifred. Yes, what poem featuring the lines as a skate's heel sweeps smooth on a bow bend, the hurl and gliding rebuffed the big wind, did Hopkins later say was the best thing I ever wrote? The wind hover. Yes, while studying at St Mary's Hall Stonyhurst, Hopkins described what natural phenomenon as this busy working of nature wholly independent of the earth. Uh, the Northern Lights. Yes, when he began his new life as a Jesuit at Manresa House in Roehampton in 1868, Hopkins felt it necessary to burn his poems using what dramatic phrase in his journal to describe the act? Uh, the Slaughter of the Innocent. Yes, after a short illness, Hopkins died in 1889 in Dublin, where he had been teaching at University College and was buried in which cemetery? Glass Nevin Cemetery. Yes, in 1881, Hopkins wrote the poem beginning this darksome burn, horseback brown, his roll rock... I've studied so I'll finish. This darksome burn, horseback brown, his roll rock high road roaring down, after visiting a small village on the banks of which Scottish loch? Loch Lomond. It was Loch Lomond. And John, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 11 points. Thank you very much. And at the end of the specialist subjects round, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place, with five points, it's Sean. In third place, with eight points, it's Thomas. In second place, with 11 points, it's John. And in first place, with 12 points, it's Helen. So now, the general knowledge round, and if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, it's a tie break. So, let's ask Sean to join us again, please. So, Sean, you start with five points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. What three-word name commonly abbreviated to BST is given to a daylight saving period that was introduced in the UK in 1916? British summertime. Yes, in physical geography, what name ultimately derived from a Latin word for ice is given to a large mass of ice that moves slowly over land? Glacier. Yes, the Jewish festival of Pesach is known by what name in English? Passover? Yes, which famous cathedral stands at the eastern end of the Ile de la Cité, an island in the middle of the River Seine in Paris? The Notre Dame. Yes, what play by Anton Chekhov tells the story of the dreary provincial existence of the siblings Olga, Masha and Irina and their yearning for a new life in Moscow? Pass. Which British merchant bank collapsed in 1995 after losses of more than £800 million were incurred by one of its traders, Nick Leeson? Pass. A Touch of Class, The Psychiatrist and Basil the Rat are episode titles of what 1970s television sitcom? Faulty Towers? Yes, the M11 motorway connects London to which university city? Oxford. No, Cambridge. Which author wrote the novels Flaubert's Parrot, A History of the World in ten and a half chapters and the Booker Prize winning The Sense of an Ending? Hilary Mantel. No, Julian Barnes. What German word for wife is also used as a title for a married woman and is the equivalent of the English Mrs? Frau? Yes. Which American filmmaker directed the dramas The Virgin Suicides, Marie Antoinette and The Bling Ring? Sophia Coppola? Yes. What word is widely used in the United States for thick, sweet substances, often containing butter, used to decorate cakes and known in the UK as icing? 
fondant. No, frosting. Which Barbados-born singer was the headline performer at the Super Bowl halftime show in February 2023? Rihanna. Yes. What was the byname of the influential physician, alchemist and philosopher Philippus von Hohenheim, born in Switzerland in 1493, who rejected traditional medical treatments of the time and pioneered the use of minerals and other chemicals in medicine? Pass. In the traditional sequence of the seven colours of the rainbow, what colour comes between red and yellow? Orange. Yes, which French politician succeeded Charles de Gaulle as president of France in 1969 and served in the role until his death in 1974? Pass. The yoke, the shank, and often the rowel are the component parts of what pair of items used in equestrianism? I've started so finish. Used in equestrianism, usually worn on the heels of riding boots. With spurs? Yes, with spurs. So, Sean, four passes. Uh, Georges Pompidou succeeded Charles de Gaulle as president of France. Paracelsus is the byname of the influential physician, alchemist and philosopher Philippus von Hohenheim. Um, Bering's Bank is the bank that collapsed. And Three Sisters is the Chekhov play. And after all that, Sean, you've got 15 points. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, it's Thomas. So, Thomas, you start with eight points. The score to beat as it stands is 15 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. In a common expression, someone who is excited or nervous about something is said to have what winged insects in their stomach? Uh, butterflies. Yes. What number comes next in the sequence of cube numbers that begins 1, 8, 27, 64? 1, 2, 5. Yes. Which Manchester City footballer set a new record of 35 goals in a single English Premier League season when he scored in a match against West Ham in May 2023? John Stones? No, Erling Haaland in Northern Irish politics. The letters UUP stand for the name of which party? Ulster Unionist Party? Yes. What stage musical, based on a comic strip by Harold Gray, features the songs Little Girls and You Won't Be an Orphan for Long? Annie? Yes. In which Australian television soap did Russell Crowe play the small-time crook Kenny Larkin in 1987? Neighbours? Yes. The national flag of which country in southern Europe features a black double-headed eagle on a red background? Albania? Yes, Manchego is a popular Spanish variety of what dairy product? Jeez. Yes, which British singer and actor had consecutive UK number one albums with hypersonic missiles in 2019 and 17 going under in 2021? Sam Fender. Yes, electrodes used in electrolysis to pass electricity through a conducting medium are typically classed as positive and negative terminals. What's the name of the negative electrode? Cathode? Yes, the immortal horses Xanthus and Balius belong to which legendary Greek hero who died at the siege of Troy? Heracles? No, Achilles, what name ultimately derived from a Latin verb meaning to cook, is given to a type of oven used to bake or fire ceramics? Kiln. Yes, Judy Dench won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her performance as Queen Elizabeth I in what 1998 romantic comedy film? The Queen. No, Shakespeare in Love. An ancient Chinese text known as the Analects or Lun Yu is a collection of the teachings of which philosopher compiled by his disciples after his death around 479 BC? Confucius? Yes. What's the common name for the substance known as cerumen produced by glands in the outer ear? Earwax. Yes. The point at which the orbit of a planet is furthest from the sun is called its aphelion. What's the corresponding term for the point at which it is closest to the sun? Infilion? No, perihelion. What name is given to the small, sour, dark blue fruit of the blackthorn shrub, which is often used to make a gin-based liqueur? Slow? It is slow. Mm. And Thomas, no passes. You've got 21 points. There you go. Next up is John. John, you start with 11 points. The score to beat as it stands is 21 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. 
Let's go. Bramley is a popular cooking variety of what fruit? Apple. Yes. What word spelt with a silent letter P means filled with air and describes drills powered by compressed air as well as air-filled tyres? Pneumatic. Yes. In the English language version of the television series based on the crime novels of Henning Mankel, the Swedish police inspector Kurt Wallander is played by which actor? Um, pass. What name is given to the official transcript of parliamentary debates, statements and speeches in the House of Commons and the House of Lords? Hansard. Yes, the chorus of the song Dancing Queen by ABBA features the lyrics Feel the Beat from what musical instrument? The tambourine. Yes, which city in the US state of Michigan has a professional American football team named the Lions and a professional baseball team named the Tigers? Uh, Ohio. No, Detroit, which author wrote the 1961 novel The Prime of Miss Jean Brody about an unconventional but ruthless teacher at a girls' school in Edinburgh? Um, Agatha Christie. No, Muriel Spark, the crew on NASA's Apollo 12 mission, which resulted in the second moon landing, were Pete Conrad, Richard Gordon and which other astronaut? Glenn Shepard. No, Alan Bean. According to the slogan on a wartime propaganda poster issued by the Ministry of Information in 1942, careless talk costs what? Lives. Yes, the third book of the Bible is known in English by what name? A Latin word relating to an ancient tribe. Um, Exodus? No, Leviticus. What creatures are the title characters of the 2022 animated film subtitled The Rise of Gru, featuring the voices of Steve Carell, Michelle Yeoh and Julie Andrews, among many others? Ants? No, Minions in Geometry and Hendecagon has how many sides? 24. No, 11. What children's game involves throwing a stone onto a pattern of sequentially numbered squares in a grid marked on the ground and progressing across them in a series of jumps? Hopscotch. Yes. For a period in the 1970s and 80s, Kampuchea was the official name of which country in Southeast Asia? Cambodia. Yes. What single word name derived from the Greek for second is given to the isotope of hydrogen contained in molecules of heavy water? Pass. Of the four species of venomous snake called mambas, which one gets its common name from the dark colour of the inside of its mouth? The black mamba. Yes. At an elevation of around 1,000... I've started so I'll finish. An elevation of around 1,700 feet, the moorland area of Dunkery Beacon is the highest point in which national park in southwest England? Um, Exmoor. It is. Exmoor National Park. And, John, you had two passes. The single word name derived from the Greek for second, deuterium. Yes. And it's Sir Kenneth Branagh, who played the Swedish police inspector Kurt Wallander. And at the end of that round, John, you've got 20 points. <laughs> and finally, let's have Helen again, please. So, Helen, you start with 12 points to score to beat to get through to the semi-finals. Is Thomas's 21 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The building with the address 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C. is commonly known by what name? The White House. Yes. What Italian word meaning stalk or stump is used in English for the trunk of the human body, not including the head or limbs? Torso. Yes. The 2015 film subtitled The Force Awakens, starring Daisy Ridley, John Boyega and Oscar Isaac, is the seventh instalment in what film series? Star Wars. Yes. Freetown is the capital city of which West African country? Liberia? No, Sierra Leone. What television sitcom originally broadcast between 1972 and 1985 is set primarily in the fictional London department store Grace Brothers? Are you being served? Yes, an alternative name for the vitamin pyridoxin is the letter B, followed by which single-digit number? Five. No, six. In 2022, which novelty pop act achieved a record fifth consecutive Christmas number one single with the charity song Food Aid? Lad baby. Yes. What three-letter name is given to small droplets of moisture that form overnight on leaves, grass and other outdoor surfaces because of the condensation of water vapour from the air? Dew. Yes. The British scientist Lord Rayleigh was awarded the 1904 Nobel Prize in Physics for his research into the density of certain gases and for the discovery of which specific chemical element? Uh, hydrogen. No, Argon. Which American general who led US forces in the Allied attack on Sicily in 1943 had the nickname Old Blood and Guts? 
The well? No, pattern. What word derived from the name of the Roman goddess of agriculture refers to certain types of breakfast foods as well as crops such as corn or wheat used to make them? Cereal. Yes. At the 2023 World Snooker Championship, who became the first player to make a maximum 147 break in the final of the competition? Sobe? Yes, the Soe, named after an island in the St Kilda group of the Outer Hebrides, is a primitive breed of what farm animal? A cow. No, sheep, in which opera by Puccini is the title character, the lover of an artist called Mario Caravadossi. Lavoem. No, Tosca, the University of Surrey is based in which English town? Kingston. No, Guildford, which character from the Beano comic has a pet dog called Nasha and a pet pig named Rasha? Menace. Yes, the films Rosemary's Baby, The Stepford Wives and The Boys from Brazil were all adapted from novels by which American author? Hakuma. No, Ira Levin. In cookery, what sauce similar to hollandaise is made from egg yolks, butter, shallots, vinegar and tarragon? And is named after a traditional... Start it all finish. Named after a traditional province of southwestern France. Tartar? No, it's Baronet's sauce. So, Helen, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got a total of 21 points. So, well, let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with 15 points, it's Sean. In third place with 20 points, it's John. And in joint first place with 21 points each, it's Thomas and Helen, and they both have no passes as well. So it's a tie break. So let me ask Helen to leave the studio now for obvious reasons and for Thomas to join us again in the black chair. So, Thomas, I'll ask you five questions and I won't tell you whether you've got the answers right or wrong. We'll find that out in a moment. Here we go. In the context of radio waves, the letters FM stand for what term? Frequency modulation. The 2009 animated film Coraline, about a girl who discovers an alternative version of her life, is based on a novella by which British author? Roald Dahl. What French name from a Latin word for a thin metal plating is used in English for a cotton or silken fabric that's interwoven with gold or silver threads? Leaf. What annual rally organised by the Automobile Club of Monaco and first held in 1911 was won three times in the 1960s by drivers in a Mini Cooper? The Paris to Dakar rally. Which American painter depicted his friend Virginie Gautreau in a controversial 1884 portrait entitled Madame X? Liechtenstein. Thomas, those are your five questions. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> And now, let's have Helen back in the studio, please. So, Helen, it's the same process for you. I'm going to ask you five questions. You're not against the clock this time. And uh, the higher score, of course, wins. And this time, the correct answers will appear on the screen for our viewers at home. So here we go. In the context of radio waves, the letters FM stand for what term? Frequency modulation. The 2009 animated film Coraline, about a girl who discovers an alternative version of her life, is based on a novella by which British author? Neil Gaiman. What French name from a Latin word for a thin metal plating is used in English for a cotton or silken fabric that's interwoven with gold or silver threads? Filigree. What annual rally organised by the Automobile Club of Monaco and first held in 1911 was won three times in the 1960s by drivers in a Mini Cooper? Monte Carlo rally. Which American painter depicted his friend Virginie Gautreau in a controversial 1884 portrait entitled Madame X? 
John Singer Sergeant. And those are your five questions, Helen. You can return to your seat. Well, at the end of that tie break, we now have a winner. Thomas has a total of 22 points, but tonight's winner with 25 points is Helen, which means that she goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. And those five answers were frequency modulation, Neil Gaiman, Lame, Monte Carlo Rally, and John Singer Sargent. Join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.